Hello, everybody. So we're going to uh, begin our discussion of module nine. And in our first lesson, lesson 9.1, we're going to be discussing exponents and how to use ex exponents to represent numbers. So we're on page 239 of the sixth grade Go Math textbook. So let's look at, at the Explore activity. <clears throat> Identifying repeated multiplication. So in this case, bacteria reproduce by dividing a process that can be observed in a microscope. Some scientists observe the hourly growth of bacteria and record their observations in a table. So we have zero time, there was one, one bacteria. So one bacteria at the beginning. After one hour, there were two bacteria. After two hours, we have two times two or four bacteria. After three hours, we have two times two times two, or eight. And after four hours, <clears throat> two times two times two times two, or 16. So what pattern do you see in the total bacteria column? One, two, four, eight, 16. It's doubling, right? So each number is two times the previous number. All right, so let's complete the statement on B. <clears throat> At two hours, the total is equal to the product of two twos, right? Two hours, two twos. At three hours, the total is equal to one, two, three twos. And at four hours, the total is equal to four twos. So we could basically say the number of twos is based on the number of hours. <clears throat> All right, so how is the time in hours related to the number of times two is used as a factor? You know, we just discussed that. The number of hours The number of hours of times Okay, so the number of hours is the number of times the factor two is repeated. So how do we find the number of bacteria at 10 hours? Well, 10 hours mean that we'd have two repeated 10 times. So All right, so 10 twos. And so how much is 10 sets of twos? Well, two times two is four, four times two is eight, eight times two is 16, 16 times two is 32, 32 times four is 64, 64 times two is 128, 128 times two is 256, 256 times two is 512, and 512 times two is 1,000. 24. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so let's look at page 240. All right, using exponents, page 204. 
A number that is formed by repeated multiplication of the same factor is called a power. Okay, and you're familiar with that from previous grades. And you can use an exponent and a base to write a power. For example, 7 with the superscript 3 means the product of three sevens. So the base is 7, the exponent is 3. So the exponent 3 tells us that there's three sevens being repeated, repeatedly multiplied. So how do we read these numbers? Well, if you raise it to its second, we could say it's 6 squared. We could say it's 6 to the power of 2. Or we could say 6 raised to the second power. 7 with an exponent of 3, we could read it as 7 cubed. You could say it's 7 to the power of 3. Or 7 raised to the third power. With an exponent of 4, you could say it's 9 to the power of 4. 9 raised to the fourth power. Okay, so there's just some general ways of saying the base and the exponent. So use an exponent to write each expression. So find the base. The base is the number that's repeatedly being multiplied. So in this case, the base is 3. Now, how many times is the exponent, or how many times is, are the, is the base being multiplied? Well, in this case, it's being multiplied 5 times. So we'd say 3 to the fifth power or 3 raised to the fifth power. And we can also do it with fractions. 4 fifths times 4 fifths times 4 fifths times 4 fifths. So the base is 4 fifths. And how many times is it being repeatedly multiplied? 4 times. So we're going to put 4 fifths in parentheses and raise it to the fourth power. Because there's 4 factors of 4 fifths. All right, so <clears throat> on number two, use exponents to write each expression. So we have four is the base, and it's just being repeated three times. So four cubed or four to the third power. Six, okay, well, this time we only have six one time. So that's going to be 6 to the first power. 1 eighth is our base. And there's two of them. So 1 eighth squared. And number 5, our base is 5. And it's being repeated 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. So simply 5 to the sixth power. 241, finding the value of a power. All right, so to find the power, the power, to find the value of a power, remember that the exponent indicates how many times you use the base as a factor, how many times to multiply it. Now, there is one thing that we have to note, that the value of any non-zero number raised to the power of zero is one. An example would be five raised to the zero power. That's just one. So anything raised, any non-zero number raised to the zero power is one. Okay. All right. So find the value of each power. 10 to the fourth power. So our base is 10 and it's, it's a factor of four times. So 10 to the fourth is one followed by four zeros. Four tenths to the third power. So that's four tenths times four tenths times four tenths. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4 is 64. 1, 2, 3 decimal places, so 0 0.064. 3 fifths raised to the 0 power. So 3 fifths is non-zero. Anything raised to the 0 power is 1. <clears throat> and 2 thirds squared. Well, that means 2 thirds times 2 thirds. Well, 2 times 2 is 4, and 3 times 3 is 9. All right, so let's do some additional practices. Practice, practice problems, sorry. All right, number 6, 3 to the 4th power. Well, 3 to the 4th power would be 3 times 3 times 3 
times 3. Well, 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. And 27 times 3 is 81. Okay, 1 to the ninth power. Well, 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. Anything times 1 is 1. 2 fifths to the third power. So 2 fifths times 2 fifths times 2 fifths. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So 8 over 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 5 is 125. And 12 squared <clears throat> is just 12 times 12 or 144. Okay. All right, let's look at page 242. The guided practice is complete number one. All right, complete the table. So 5 to the first in exponential form. Exponential simply means with exponents, right? Product, we only have one 5, so it's 5. And a simplified product is 5. 5 to the second power means 5 times 5. And 5 times 5 is simply 25. 5 to the third, 5 times 5 times 5, which is 125. So 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. That's 5 to the fourth. And 125 times 5 is 625. And 5 to the fifth means 5 is a factor 5 times. And we know 5 to the 4th is 625. So 625 times 5 would be 3,125. <clears throat> okay, number 2. Use an exponent to write each expression. Okay, so the base is 6. And there are three factors of six, so six cubed. Here our base is 10. And 10 is a factor one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. So 10 to the seventh. Number four, our base is three fourths. And it is a factor one, two, three, four, five times. And 7 ninths is our base in number 5. And it's being repeated 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times. 7 ninths to the 8th power. All right, number 6 through 20, we have to find the power, the value of each power. So 8 to the 3rd, that means 8 times 8 times 8. Well, 8 times 8 is 64. And 64 times 8 is 512. 7 to the 4th, 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. And we can say 49 times 7, 343 times the last 7, 2,401. <clears throat> Number 8, 10 to the 3rd. We know any number, any uh, base 10 raised to a power, the exponent tells us how many zeros it has. So 10 to the 3rd means there are 3 zeros, or 1,000. 1 fourth, 1 fourth times 1 fourth is 1 sixteenth. Number 10, 1 to the 3rd, I'm sorry, 1 3rd to the 3rd, 1 times 1 times 1 is 1, 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 20, 
seven. Six seventh squared. Six seventh times six sevenths. Thirty six forty ninths. Number twelve. Eight tenths times eight tenths. Eight times eight is sixty four. There's going to be two decimal places. So zero point six four. Number five, five tenths times five tenths times five tenths is 125. Five times five is 25. 25 times five is 125. There's going to be one, two, three decimal places. So 0 0.125. <clears throat> 1 1.1 times 1.1. Well, we know that 11 times 11 is 121, and we have two decimal places, so 1 and 21 hundredths. 8 to the 0, simply 1. 12 to the 1st, 12. Half raised to the 0 power, 1. 13 squared, 13 times 13 is 169. 2 fifths squared equals 4 25ths. And 9 tenths squared, 9 times 9 is 81. There's going to be two decimal places, so 0 0.81. All right, 21. How do you represent, how do you use an exponent to represent a number such as 16? Well, what are the factors of 16? Let's see, we have 2 times 8, we have 4 times 4, we have 1 times 16, right? Okay, so we could use 4 and 4, right? So 4 squared would be 4 times 4, which equals 16. But let's look at the 8. 8 is made up of 2 and 4, right? And 4 is made up of 2 and 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4 twos. So what can we say? We, we would use an exponent. So basically, what are we doing? We're using an exponent to write a number that can be written as a product of equal factors. 4 times 4, 16. 2 to the 4th, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay. All right. So that's it for part 1 of Lesson 9-1. So until I see you again, we're going to work on our independent practice next time. So I will see you soon.